is going on, ladies and gentlemen? I am Blue the Gamer, back with another Minecraft video where today we are back inside of Shiny Vival as I have finally, finally given a name to this. Where today, I really don't know what we're going to do, but I do know that I want to do some exploring. So, first of all, I need XP. And I also need to get more items for my villagers to trade with them because they are being a big fat nuisance. So I don't really know what to do about them besides just try to stock up on trade items as much as literally possible and then just out of the blue trade with them until I finally have enough stuff to just go insane with them. So, I have my map of maps and my compass with me. I should probably carry my watch as well. I should carry my watch and my bed. Or my sleeping bag. So, this should be... Yeah, this should be our thing. But... I look, a, a zombie died. That's good, because I have a cleric that trades rotten flesh. Three died. Jeez. Um... Did any more of them die? Or any more over here or anything? Or was it just you guys? I guess it was just those. So, I did some more stuff off camera. I kind of grew some trees. I'm going to keep them here. I'll probably mine one or two, depending on the size or how I want it. But the main big difference, well, not really big, but the main difference here is eggs I have a villager farmer that trades eggs but he only trades them in stacks and since they stack up in 16 I just have these egg boys sitting here with their butts spooping out eggs like chickens do don't judge me but also he trades pumpkins and melons, so I was kind of thinking that if I could get an auto melon and pumpkin farm, that would be good too, but I'm going to build that off camera as well, and then you'll probably be... Because what I realized is, I've realized that my sugarcane farm and my um, bamboo farm only works when I'm actually inside the village, the village pit, so it's kind of annoying. And it's not making me happy. So I'm going to have to actually destroy this and build them somewhere else, somewhere closer. And what I'll probably do is I'll probably just build it off of my house. And speaking of, this giant pit is now turning into my enchantment table room. Very slowly but surely. So, I guess the main thing to do would just be to start wandering around and see what I can find. I'm going to head in this direction mainly. So the map won't be much use after that, but hey, close enough. So let's start in that direction, shall we? Well, I think I found something of interest. Red, I'm in a video now. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't know, please. Just keep playing Brawl Stars, please. Oh, I know. Well, go play Brawl Stars somewhere else. There's nowhere else. Yes, there is. Well, be quiet at least. <laughs> I guess I might have already been here, unless. Let's see. Uh, this will determine. But I don't think I haven't. I don't know. Maybe I have. Maybe I haven't. I think. I have. Never mind. Now, this is something of interest. Maybe I've already been here? Oh, I have. I've already been here. Well, darn it. I've been to this one, too. Great. This could be interesting. Do a quick screenshot of this. Remember the coordinates. Um, let's not go down here yet, though. Because that'll be an off-camera thing. But there is a village over here, so 
I'll see if there's anything worthwhile there. Nothing here, but once again, why? Why Acacia Villages? Why? They're just... Their terraforming is terrible so for it. Daryl. Stop playing Brawl Stars. Yeah, I'm gonna let that Daryl get you. He, he, he. No, the wall! The wall! <laughs> I hope you all enjoy. I hope you all enjoy Red streaming in the background. Thank you very much, guys. I found a mesa. I can't believe I found a mesa. Dude. Red. Gosh, I'm still playing Brawl Stars. I'm getting absolutely destroyed by I can't believe I found a Mesa biome. This is so awesome. Okay, screenshot this location. There we go. Oh, here we go, boys. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, yeah. Successfully found a mesa biome. Let's see if I can climb to the top of the mountain, shall we? I'm usually good at climbing mate mesa um, landforms, depending on what block goes where and how it's done. If I can actually make the jump. Thank you very much. Ah, here we go. Now we got it easy mode. And then it just stops. Of course it does. Ugh, are you serious? I hate Mesa forms. This is a pretty mesa biome where it's got the coarse dirt and all the trees growing on it oh we got some grass in here that's nice oh yes this is a pretty good looking oh my gosh this this mesa is glorious This mesa biome is amazing. I'll be coming back here multiple times, but it seems to be right there would be a mine shaft, and over there too. Let's explore those. So I'm in the mine area. I actually do need gold for my cleric, who's got a ton of stuff. So I do need to pick up as much gold as I can. Without dying, hopefully. So I'll try to explore this a little bit and see how much gold and stuff I can find without dying miserably. Okay, I think that's enough exploration of the gold mines in the mesa. I got two stacks and a half of gold ore, which will be a ton of stuff. Found two enchantment books, four name tags, two diamonds, three gold ingots, a golden apple, an enchanted bow from a skeleton, and a whole bunch of string that I actually really need for some more villager trades. So, yeah, and also I had some close encounters with creepers. So I'm not too good on staying here any longer. But I'll just keep it in mind. And I'll head this way now.
Okay, so seriously not too far at all. There's another village that I can check out, and there's also this sand temple. This one for sure, I know I have not checked, and I swear if I have, how did I miss the Mesa biome then? So I'm going to see what's in this one, if we can get over to it. I am hoping, oh so hoping. Yes, I haven't been in here. Okay, cool. So we'll break this side block. And here we go. There. Let's see what's inside. Iron ingots, always welcome. Rotten flesh, welcome as well. Emeralds, welcome. String is welcome because I need it for a trade. Another emerald, more gold ingots, rotten fresh, fresh, rotten flesh is welcome. More string, cool. Last chest, a golden apple. Some more string and an iron ingot. Oh, there's one more that I missed. Oh, I think there's another iron ingot I missed. Good grief. A whole bunch of good stuff. Sweet. And now, I'll grab the TNT, and then I'm going to get my butt out of here. The village and another sand temple. Dude, let's go. There's got to be some good stuff in here. No doubt. And if you're wondering why I'm picking up sugar cane on the way, it's because I need it for a trade as well. I have a cartographer and every single librarian that I have, they all trade for um, paper. So let's see what the Desert Temple has first. And then I'll probably end it off really close to here so I can just travel back home by myself. Um, well, Fui, I gotta dig down. Let's see. Yep, I haven't been here before. That was close. That could have been close. I need to eat really quick. Refresh my 64. Break this. Let's see. Gold. More string. Almost had a stack on that. More rotten flesh. That's always welcome. Some more iron. Some more string. Almost full on that. Golden apple. Rotten flesh. Welcome. Welcome. Some more gold ingots. And another training book for efficiency one. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, let's just get rid of the cobblestone, shall we, for that. And I'll swap it out with this. And I'm going to get rid of the last three of this so I can gather this sand so I can build back out of here because we are not going to have enough cobblestone blocks and we don't even have enough sand blocks so I have to combine them okay well we, 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 we might have enough I don't know yeah we, we should have enough of sand now come on boy get me out of here just enough we picked up two on the we pick up two on the way out just to build back out of it. Well, all right. I'm gonna pillage this and then head my way back home. So I finally made it back home. And after so much walking, the last of the gold is smelting, and I'm going to try to enchant my diamond helmet. So when these last ones smelt, or I guess I can just do it now. And hopefully this puts me up to level... Oh, no, I need 29 to do it. Well, Philly. Anyways, I'll hit level 29 soon enough. But I guess that'll be it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!